Ne da ultima verba. See, I like our way. Just chips, chips, chips and all chips. All of my chips. <laughs> They're all <laughs> chips. <laughs> We're just so lazy. Aussies have the best way of, the best vernacular. I don't even think it's lazy. I think it's efficient. Why would I want to call it fries when I can call it chips? Fries seems so long. I don't know yeah. why, but it... Not to mention, like, we're using more brain power by doing this because we have to contextualize what we're saying when we say chips. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. <laughs> no, that was a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's depressing. So much has happened since. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Any Last Words podcast. Where we're depressed as fuck that so much has happened in, like, what, the three weeks of 2022 so far? It's been very, um, uneventful. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty depressing. Yeah. And what has happened is just kind of dog shit. Can you believe I, this? I can't think of one good thing I've that's happened. I've picked up a lot of dog poo over the yeah, past few you weeks get used because to that. yes, she poops everywhere. It's insane. Yeah, but uh -huh. um, yes, Obviously, still very adorable. Yes, very adorable. For our listeners, uh, Brandon is talking about his pet slave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so sad. Yes. But yes. What, was that not clear enough? Sorry, I should be more explicit I, next I'm, time. I'm just oh, making okay. sure. Yeah. You know, because okay, yeah. some of our viewers do need to be reassured that we are doing very illegal things. Oh, yes. You know, like, oh. Reggie is a renowned drug peddler. Yeah. yeah. Reggie's uh, rocking chairs, I'll never forget. Yeah, exactly. Reggie's rocking chairs, exactly. So much cocaine. Rambunches. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, those were the days. I myself have probably committed every crime known to man. Yeah. Short of being vegan. Of course. And yeah. wearing lycra. Ah. Yeah. What's so lycra? I'm still better than vegans. Yes. Wow. There you go. Yeah, the more you know. The more you know. Can you really take a moral high ground with a vegan though? Because that's just kinda like beating down. And one of the rules of comedy is that you should never beat down, you know? Like, you should never go after a minority if you come from a place of higher privilege or something like that. Well, not necessarily yeah. a minority, but like a religious group or some other fanatic Niche. bullshit. People that are oppressed. Jews, there we go. As funny example. as the joke might be, you just need to control yourself. Get someone else to say it. You know, give exactly. someone else the spotlight. Someone... Pay someone to do it. <laughs> exactly. Pay someone else to say all your anti-Semitic views in public. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. I'm sure Adolf could have done with one of those. Like, he really took the brunt. <laughs> oh, of you know Adolf. The backlash. You know Adolf. Well, oh, you, yeah, don't yeah, know Adolf? Adolf. you don't know you, Adolf Hitler. Did you work for him? I don't know. No, no. You guys are tight with him. Wow, that's um. Well, it's a bit hard to be since I he's didn't... dead. Yeah. But then again, some people still believe that Elvis is alive. Oh. Always. I've it's always been cited that you actually have a one in ten thousand chance of running into Elvis at a record store if he's still alive, yeah. and if you're in the UK or the US or wherever. I mean, when we first met, Callan, I thought you were Elvis. So. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was on, once you spoke, then I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's not Elvis. That's silly. That's me. not Elvis. This is a homeless bum. No, no. He had the look of Elvis. I remember very explicitly. Okay. I wish you I don't did. believe me. You did have the look of Elvis. How long? We're, we're, we're talking like very youthful. I don't recall being quite Elvis. Yes, you were Elvis. He was Elvis, right, Reggie? Um, sure. I'm quite sure I've faced between being homeless and then very shortcut. Although now I've allowed it to grow out, and someone said oh, I, that I look like Jesus now. So <laughs> it's going to places. Look, any guy who grows out their beard and hair looks like Jesus after a while. So. I know, but it means I don't look homeless. Fuck, then again, Jesus was homeless, so. Yeah. Maybe true. I do still look hey, homeless. Hey, hey, he was homeless for a good cause, I think. 
for the so, people of the world. Yeah. Yes. If he existed. If he existed. Well, there had to have been some guy named Jesus. Who well, there was a lot of people named Jesus. Yeah. I mean, people named I'm Jesus. pretty sure the actual name itself was Emmanuel, and that's glory or praise be to God, I think, in Aramaic and all that jazz. Once again, I'm going off the top of my head, so it could be completely wrong. But I'm pretty sure everyone's third fucking son might have been named Jesus. Well, who wouldn't want to name their son Jesus? Is that allowed? I thought that was illegal some, in some Well, places. after the fact, like, after Jesus' name was, you know, like, became holy and whatnot. Because I'm pretty sure the books of Isaiah didn't exactly name drop him or anything. They just <laughs> said, like, oh, hey, by the way, some kid's gonna turn up and... He's going to be pretty cool. Don't worry, guys. Just, just keep waiting. He'll he'll turn up. Not now. Not not with all the bad shit happening now. Later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot later. No name dropping. He wasn't like Mysterio dropping fucking Spider-Man's P.O. box address blood type. Mm. But either way. Either way. Does Jesus have teeth? That's the real question. Well, why asking. wouldn't he? Is well, that even a might... question? It is a good question if you think about it. Think about the Did conditions. he get them punched out at some point? He might have. You know, if you think about it, because, you know, lots of people back in the day who were just shouting stuff on the streets, they got punched in the face, I guess. So maybe he this did, is you true. know, that. I a mean, lot of punchings in the face did happen. Yeah. I mean, it, it yeah. stands to reason. Sounds every cool. Every good story needs some kind of action sequence. Right, so there had to have been one in the Bible at some stage. Well, some in case you hadn't realized, the Bible is probably the bloodiest book of all time, short of books that were made to be bloodier than the Bible. <sighs> you know, like God has endorsed countless genocides. He oh. he, he he leveled entire cities. The oh. you know. He, he does that a lot. Don't you remember, like, the whole thing about, like, freeing the slaves from Egypt and he, oh, God decided, yeah. oh, hey, well, I'll just kill everyone. You know? I'll just kill all the firstborns and I'll kill all their livestock and I'll give them all various diseases. Now that you mention it, yeah, I do have vague memories of watching this really crappy movie. Um, animated film, of course, when I was back in primary school. And, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was. See, I want to know whether you're talking about the actual like Disney adaptation nah, of nah. the story of Moses. Okay, so like a shitty Catholic school iteration. Yeah. I grew up. <laughs> I, I had I had to watch a lot of those. Also, they're all dog shit. It was this. It was like a weird. It was 3D animation, so of course it looked terrible. Oh yeah, no, obviously this is some sort of like Veggie Tales style shit. Well, not style, yeah. but like level of quality. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's, exactly. That's precisely it. So. You know, and I, that they had scarring images. I'm surprised they showed that to us because lots of people died. A kid died, you know. Well, that's so. the thing, you know. They're trying to scare you into being part of the religion, you know, because God's on the good side, right? No, oh, weird. My mind just immediately thought like, oh, don't kill a sheep if you want to live. I don't remember why. I remember there being something about <laughs> sheep. The plural um, of sheep is sheep. You are. Right. You are sheep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you but I mean, if anything, God wants you to kill a lot of sheep. Well, look, this what? cute though. Have you guys seen videos of, like, lambs running around and stuff? They're like tall dogs. I'm sure it's very adorable. It is so adorable. Like, I... God. You know, having a puppy really just makes you so soft for the animals. I mean, God. Yeah. Uh, Lamb, lamb, Wait until lamb. she gets bigger. I really hope you guys train the bite out of her. We are trying, but uh, it's oh, well. it's uh, it's it's definitely difficult. Train? I it... thought you meant put her up to slavery. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> Give or take. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know. Aside from her biting, though, it's actually quite entertaining watching her run around fighting her bed. Oh, yes. Yeah, she dragged her bed across, like, this entire, like, the, just the floor. And she moved it, and then turned it upside down, and then slept on top of it instead. Yeah. So, 
you know, very, very smart. Cute. Yeah, and she is the smartest dog breed in the world. So, what can you do? See, I'm pretty sure that that's called the French, but I won't, I won't argue because I'm pretty sure you could argue that. I, I've forgotten your dog's breed, but I'm pretty sure there's an argument that said dog could be smarter than the French. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> but but yeah. Um, actually, that that reminds me, we w went to the beach with her, right? We took we took Peppa to the beach. Oh wow, you're really going places with this dog. I love yeah. her. Yeah, like her everywhere. Yeah, she's terrified of the ocean now, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> traumatized her on the first day out. You gotta wait until she's bigger. We know. You know, like, let her go into a rock pool first. Yeah. We know. We know. <laughs> oh. Uh, Can you and... imagine if she became hydrophobic after that and just would never take a bath? <laughs> Have you tried to bathe her since? Nah, nah. I'm sure it'll be fine though. I think it's it's the waves more than anything, mm. and how hard they were hitting. That was scary. But um, in other news, though, there was a it's a dog beach, right? So lots of people bring their dogs, run around and play with them. Oh, that's cute. Then this one dog. It it looked like a bulldog, but it, it's not a bulldog. I can't remember right. the breed. Terrier, Staffy. Staffy, I think is the one. Yeah. Staffies are adorable. Oh, Amazing yeah. breed. This one, it it was with its family, and then it just locked eyes on Pepper from like you know thirty meters away, right? And it beelines straight for her. And it's the funniest thing watching Pepper just scramble out of my dad's arms and then running up this little sand hill trying to get away, but her legs are too short so she can't get up, right? <laughs> yeah. And then this big dog, it just starts like wrestling and playing with her a little bit and then it just stands on top of her and doesn't let her move. That's it. <laughs> oh. Doesn't do anything else, right? We, yeah, I, I don't know, it was some kind of pa weird power move, I guess, on a tiny little No, it's, I but... mean, yeah, <laughs> but... It's play fighting. That's kind of how you... That's probably the best way to get the bite out of Pepper, really. Because yeah. she's going to respond more vocally to other dogs and if... Because that's how it typically happens. Like you, you leave them with their litter for about eight months or so, and they learn when their brothers and sisters go, "Oi, stop fucking biting me!" <laughs> but, you know, for a couple of months. That's how they learn to, you know, hold back and not be a dick. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, there might be a benefit to just letting little lady run around and get bit and bite. In all fairness, though, that was a completely unprovoked attack by that big boy. Attack? That, that just dog. sounds adorable. It was an attack, yeah. It was not an attack. It was, it was quite adorable. Mm. But, yeah, and then the owners came and dragged the dog away by the collar. <laughs> that dog really wanted to just be on top wow. of it. Wow. Um, but, but, yeah. And then, like... It is know, a size thing. It is, definitely. That's what she said. Yes. But, but like, ten minutes later, right? That dog has now just been playing with its family for a while, you know, splashing around in the water. And it just, it sees Pepper again and <laughs> runs even faster this time towards her. And Pepper's again scrambling, trying to get up the hill. <laughs> it's, it's the cutest thing ever, just watching the tiny little legs move. But oh. my Reminds God. me just like you, Brandon. Yeah, I know. She actually is. <laughs> it's so unfortunate how much like me she is. She's she doesn't like the sun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely takes after you. Yeah, every oh, time. And, uh, I know every helpless. time we take her out front, and the sun is out, she just goes straight under like a car or a trailer and just stays there. She does not want to come out because it's Damn. too sunny. And I suppose black fur, I get it, you know. But um, yeah, no, she's very much like me. And hey, now she's got a fear of water, like me. So there we go. You have a fear of water? Oh, you not both exactly. Love it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's it's, more, it's not a fear of water. It's it's, it's more like um, afraid of being in like a car in water. You know, it's oddly specific. I know, but it's... see, just watch a couple of MythBusters episodes on that, and you'll be fine. Yeah. I know. I've just got very vivid memories. If you memories. know, then why are you scared? <laughs> I know. 
It's, 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 when I was like three, right? We went like this chicken. This, yeah, I was a chicken, still am. And I, I wear that like a badge of honor. I wear lots of chicken things like shit. that. Let's go. Yeah, no. But when I was three, um, my family, we went to the Sea World or something, right? One of one the worlds. The other. Yeah. Bye. And there was this. Was it bus the one ride. with water? I think. No, it was Dream World. It was Dream then, World. Then, yeah, it's Dream World. Yeah. yeah. Remember that one ride that killed a bunch of people a few years ago? I do. Aren't they bringing that back? I hope not. That was the ride that we went on, and that scarred me for life, I think. Um, that was. <laughs> you, you think? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am. Don't ever want to think about that. But no, what really got me though was the next, not the next day, but like a few hours later, which is basically the next day for a child of that caliber. Same thing. Yeah. Um, there was this bus ride, right? Which I thought it was a normal bus ride. You just hop into a bus and it takes you somewhere. This bus turned left off the road and went straight for the ocean. And <laughs> it's kind of this cool. is. It, it well not to me at least because I was already terrified of water because of the previous ride. Yeah. This is true. Yeah, this uh, this bus went straight into the water. Water splashed everywhere on the roof and on the windows and stuff. And I was terrified for my life. I remember that very clearly. Um, but 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 yeah, uh, that that was it's not pleasant. And I know it sounds fine to you guys, but imagine you're three years old and then suddenly the bus just. It stops being on the road and it goes straight into the ocean. You know? Yeah, it's I mean, I'm sure scary. that'd be horrifying if I cared at the age of three. <laughs> well, okay. Hey. What if I was a raging nihilist at the age of three also? Callan was a psychopath. I believe that. <laughs> I fully believe that. There's every chance it's true. Yeah. I don't remember that far back, or even to this morning, so it could very well be true. Yes, I only remember because I was terrified for my life. As one does. Yeah. We How about you guys? To hate to see you, you guys? You guys have any traumatic childhood experiences you want to tell me about to make me feel a bit better? <laughs> or, uh, you know, something Do like I? Mm. Do, you, do you guys know? Is it just me? Like, I, I, the closest I can think of right now is the e the Easter show and all that shit. I got lost for a couple of minutes, but I kind of didn't care. <laughs> like, I just walked off and started doing my own thing. And we're talking, like, at the age of six or some shit. Oh! Where's my family? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so I just walk off on my own on the during the fucking Easter show. Wow. Um, Mm, uh... I can't really think of anything mm. right now. <sighs> I'm just not as traumatized. Like you are so that. lucky. Actually, Aside from the no. usual like parental abuse and whatnot, but we're sort of... skimming that because obviously everyone has that, right? <laughs> yeah, They're all yeah, yeah, strung yeah. to the roof, right? right? Yeah. 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 So emotional damage and shit. And mental... Emotional damage. Damage. Uh. Of course, of course. Yeah. Naturally. No, I have a, I feel like I've told this story before, but I am scared of water as well, but not like that. Not like that. Okay. I'm not scared like a bitch. of. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, I can swim. I won't, you know, drown or anything, but I am. Yeah, I am scared of drowning. I won't drown, but I will be scared of drowning. Oh, yeah. Drowning does suck. <clears throat> Mm, and um, right. yeah, I am like I don't like, you know. Every time we went like, at school, we 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 did those um the swimming carnivals. I didn't yeah. swim, didn't want to, because I was scared that mm. I'd get up to the deep end and just drown. <laughs> so I didn't. I never wanted to jump into the the pool. Um, yeah, I hate it. I hate doing that. I remember that one time. During the swimming carnival, I purposely made myself quote unquote drown just so I could get out of the water early. <laughs> Instead oh. of having to go all the way to the deep end and swim. 
because I was scared of oh, I love you know, that. not being able to touch the, the 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 bottom, and so I pretended I was drowning, and someone got me out of the water, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm better now. I'm fine. Was I'm this fine. during high school? Yes. Yes, it okay, because you know what? I have vague memories of something like that happening. I also <laughs> do, and I was like, that wow, was some kid nearly died, and it's just you getting out of the carnival like a boss? <laughs> you did it a lot more that dramatically really than I did, so I will not lie, because I think <clears throat> over my high schooling career, I only participated once out of the... Met mandatory i i think there was a couple of mandatory years where we had to attend but yeah. i just didn't bother until our yeah. last one for like the final year like mm. when they were calling up age groups and whatnot i just sit there in the bleachers oh yeah same yeah the only oh, yeah. time i ever went in the water at one of those swimming carnivals was in year 12 when we all got to go in together and do our exactly. final lap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I had a sn- like, suspicion we that... Sat there. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Well, you know, and it, it was fair enough because I had a feeling that we were going to miss out on a bunch of our other carnivals. So, you know, make the most of it, right? Um, it was still boring as fuck. Oh, yeah, super boring, but, you know... Swimming carnivals are just one of the most horrible inventions of all time. You force these kids to sit out there in the heat... Around all this yeah. fucking cle- chlorine water, everything smells yeah. bad. Teachers yeah. don't want to be there. Kids don't want to be there. Mm. Fucking boring as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I should run a school, except I hate children. So. You know what I hate the most is when they force us to cheer. <laughs> I know. Oh it's like everybody. You know what else know. was bad? I was forced to force people to cheer once. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you weren't forced to force people to cheer. You volunteered to force people to cheer. No, what happened was all the other house leaders and shit, they already got their houses cheering, and I was just kind of standing up the front, not us, mm. <laughs> for like five minutes at one of these events. And then a couple of the others from my house group, like the other leaders or whatever the fuck, I don't care, it's all unimportant. They walked up and it's like, why the fuck aren't you doing anything, you dipshit? And obviously, I didn't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, that's just, that's just kind of the story, I didn't care. Yeah, yeah fair exactly. enough. I mean, I don't know. I kind of, I'm mixed on it. I don't like the swimming carnivals. Because I don't it's like, like any of the carnivals. Yeah. Sorry I, to interject. I, I do interject a lot. Oh, good. I actually quite like the cross country. I do like the cross country as well. Yeah. Okay, you found a decent one, but only because I walked it. Yeah, no, see, that was the it's great thing. Like, you just. Yeah, you just mm. walk the whole thing and get to chat with your friends for like two hours. Exactly. You don't have to go to class, just out yeah. in the bad walk. So they may just walking. sit out in the heat half the time. Oh, That's yeah, the but... main issue with me. Everything's yeah, really, really hot fucking then. hot. Yeah. And I'm fat. <laughs> okay? Like, I was just ice skating today, and, like, temperatures are close to zero, because they have to be, because the floor is frozen. Uh, I'm still sweating my ass off. I mean, at least you didn't like, fall. I did. This is true. I, in fact, did not fall. See, oh, that's that, impressive. Which was a surprise. Very I, impressive. I was quite pre- pleased with that. There you go. Should have seen Callan. Callan's texting me. He's like, Reggie, I didn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like all chuffed about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go fast? Did you go fast, Callan? I, I I I think I went relatively fast. Callan about nice. fast. Callan. I, I do admit my technique is scuffed, <laughs> however, the, the, what I do is because I've got bum legs, but one of them's a bit more bum than the other, so I just leave one foot firmly planted on the ice at all times, and I just scrape along the ice with the other one to push me forward, oh, God. and it works, <laughs> It's just it just doesn't look as elegant. Imagine if pro ice skaters did that. It's a new technique. <laughs> what have I just created? The new ultimate technique. I'm, I'm just saying, I might have done. You never know. 
I would never live that down. You should go into the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. I, I should. The one with yeah. the ice skating. You should. Yes. Yeah. See, I believe that the Olympics should have, for just every category, just a group of completely average people doing the same event, just so people have something to, like, <laughs> you know, base off the athletes' achievements with. Like, what yeah. if you just have a bunch of average Joes do shot put? Or do bobsledding and immediately crash oh and God. fucking die. Which, admittedly, <laughs> if that happened every year, I would actually watch the Olympics for once. Same. Just to see the bobsled average Joe team crash and burn. <laughs> just derail <laughs> off the side yeah. of the track. Four see, people what... decapitated. See, that because, you know, the athletics carnival at, in high school and that... That's basically just, you know, dumbed down version of the Olympics. And there was nothing else to do other than run the race course or throw the shot put. They should have had some, like, funny little activity, you know, something like that. No, they just shouldn't have had an athletic They shouldn't tunnel. have had it, but, you know, something, something in between. You know, I, I remember specifically in, like, I think year 11, we had to do, uh, what's the one where you have to, like, jump high high jump high jump is yeah. the jump <laughs> the oh, you can jump high <laughs> um yeah high jump i we like everyone was running up and trying their best and i ran up to that pole and then i just stopped right in front of it and looked at it and thought just no can't do that i'm not gonna lift my butt up that high and I, I definitely couldn't have done that. It was, it's really high up, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah. Usually you just See, run up to it and hesitate. This is well, true. I just, yeah, I, I looked at it. I'm pretty sure I didn't give a <laughs> shit, so I just kind of like walked up to it and half-assed the jump. Yeah, you were allowed to kind do of that. Expecting you could it. just push it over. I also <laughs> recall, I very rarely actually like participated for my own team. Because I realized that they weren't actually counting us, they were just using the rolls. Dude, you didn't even so, need to worry. Your your house was like the one that always won anyway, so you guys were fine. Fucking two years. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't I just know that my house never ever won anything, so Does it look like it matters anyways? Because they just take no. people to see fucking PG movies. At the fucking cheap yeah. ass cinemas, cheap which is cinema. cool, but at the same time, one of the few times that I won, I had to see Trans Hotel Transylvania 2. Do you know how dog shit that movie is? Wait, they. Oh my god. Of all the animated movies they could have taken, they had to pick. That's that a exactly. bad movie. Did you know they came up with number four? Yeah, yeah they're, they're doing number four now. They're Why? milking that cow. Why? That's all. They're, they're milking it. You want to know why? why? Because it's extremely cheap to produce, and I'll tell you why. Because the animation studio is in Korea. Oh, I yeah, see. Literally, they just no wonder. The entire franchise is animated in Korea. Yeah. It's just a bunch of That's really be sad, funny. depressed people behind laptops out there animating yeah. this big AAA budget film for fifteen cents an hour. <laughs> And you had to watch the second one. Like, you know, the second one. That the first usually... one was bad enough, but the second one was worse. Yeah, it's like and part then of they that, went those... three yeah. and four. Watch them come up with five just because they can. Yeah, they're going to squeeze that know, tea They're going to do an dry. Ice Age. Like, Ice, <laughs> Ice Age. Age. They do Ice not Age. stop I'm making lying. Ice Age movies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. they milked the first one movie was good. Okay. The first movie was good. Yeah. I actually Yeah, the first like couple that. movies were yeah. perfectly fine. But then it's yeah. just they really drove it. Okay, I'm just going to really push yeah. it. A, a quick recap in case no one knows. The first movie was about, you know, returning a human baby to its parents, which was actually kind of adorable, and then that was the whole story, you know, a nice little self-contained story. The second one was about the the animals escaping extinction because of a meltdown in the icebergs, right? A bit more extreme, but that, that was a good one. The third one was about them fighting you know, dinosaurs. Global warming. Yeah, global yeah, warming. The third one was just out of hand. 
and then Fucking there was this Australian living under the crust of the earth. And then an Australian weasel thing was like taming oh, yeah. a giant albino T Rex or something like that. I don't mind. You know, got a dagger. Some shit, yeah. Fucking movie. But I like okay. that one because that nostalgia. That's I like the, the first. I like yeah, first few are okay. The fourth one, though. The fourth one was <laughs> literally <laughs> about pirates, but not yeah. not human pirates. Monkey pirates and kangaroo pirates, and they like abducted the main characters or something on their iceberg boat. Yeah. And it was this weird They're thing. Using icebergs for the boats. I don't even know how that, that weirded worked. me out. Yeah. And then I. I don't even remember what the objective of the movie was. I, it was I to like reunite. It, so that it was to reunite with everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Weren't they all fighting? Uh, the rest of the herd or some shit. No, yeah, there was <laughs> the third act was full on just like the mammoth and the monkey fighting each other on two collapsing icebergs. It was hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, and funny enough, that's not even the most ridiculous thing. The fifth one was <laughs> it was about a meteor coming down to bring potential extinction to the whole world. I and unfortunately I... have watched this one. Me too, and I'm pretty sure the Australian weasel returned for this one, which is cool. I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> but the main problem was the fact that they managed to stop the meteor. Um, see, when I first watched it, I thought they were going to kill off the whole cast. You know, just like put would have been great. The... That would have that would have actually been pretty good, right? <laughs> like have a you know Toy Story three moment where they all hold hands and embrace death or something like that. Exactly. No, instead they like carved out a mountain or something and made the the meteor sling through the mountain and shoot back up into space but the mountain so, was magnetic it was made out of ore like a magnetic ore or some shit and they just yeah. used that to slingshot the fucking meteor <laughs> so <laughs> fucking bad like you know they did christmas specials and all kinds of shit too like, I remember there, there was oh, one where, like, yeah. they fucking oh, found right. Santa or some shit. Oh, you just unlocked some memories. Oh, my God. I know. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Go out to find the true meaning of Christmas or some shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. God. I fucking okay. hate franchises. That's the Ice Age for you. That's Ice Age. Oh my That's, That's the Ice Age iceberg. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Probably. It's it's one of the weirder franchises to ever exist. Like, God, it just I remember it feeling so wholesome the first three movies, and then it just went out. Of, it just went crazy. Yeah, it just went a little weird. It just went chaotic. Yeah, yeah they. And I remember well, they, they had were milking it. They had the what's it called? The the Dalai Lama Dalai Lama Dalai Lama I don't know how to pronounce it. They had the original Lama, which was actually a Lama, and then it had a a um a a servant who was a sloth, just so they could give an in a love interest to the sloth character Sid. The fucking Sid. Yeah. Which was so weird. Oh my god! I. The main mammoth's wife gave birth on screen. On the third uh, third movie. Yeah. The dinosaurs and shit. That's right. And they were all fighting it's... off a bunch of, like, velociraptors. Like, just... Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. While she's giving birth. It's crazy. I remember that being oh, so exciting. Oh, dramatic effect. Yeah. Yeah. Dramatic effect. That's... Yeah. It was dramatic. Make it more intense. Do, 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 yeah. Do. Oh my god. Oh, and that's right. The sloth was trying to turn some of the dinosaur, uh, the T Rex babies, vegan. I remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, that. That's a weird franchise, man. Oh my god. I hope I never create something that horrible. Yeah, well, which is why I plan to not have children. <laughs> That's Fucking disappointing. We need more hey, Vikings. No, no, no. Look, the first child will be all right. It's just all the ones Vikings after. are just an occupation. Okay. 
Vikings went okay. Vikings are primarily Norsemen, but technically it was a profession, and they had people of color and whatnot because the Vikings traveled the world and shit. Like the Viking sailors made it to the Americas first, and they actually engaged in trades with the local na the local Native Americans. And you can actually see like their artifacts and whatnot being in different compounds like you see viking artifacts and a couple native american murals and whatnot either way that's really just cool. a brief little history interjection anyone could be a viking you just you know had to want to yeah you just had to really like eating fish you know and pillaging the english <laughs> because fuck the brits fish and chips fish and chops chaps no. Fish and chops. No. Crisps. Fish and crisps. Crisps. I think is, yeah, there you go. What the fuck crisps. is wrong with you? <laughs> what? That's how they say it. They don't call them chips. They no, call they do crisps. call them chips, but they have different, so like potato chips. Crisps are for crisp. potato, like the thing. Chips crisps. are the thicker ones, and then there's like another name. Fries. Is there? Fries. Yes, fries, yeah. that's it. Right, okay. I was unaware. I've fries just heard them they call them use. crisps. The most. See, I like our way. Just chips, chips, chips and all chips. All of them are chips. <laughs> They're all <laughs> chips. Yeah, just Aussies, so lazy. Aussies have the best way of the best vernacular. I don't even think it's lazy. I think it's efficient. Yeah, it's efficient. It's not lazy. <laughs> Why would I want to because call it fries like, when I can call it chips? Fries seems so long. I don't know yeah. why, but it... exactly. Not to mention, like, we're using more brain power by doing this because we have to contextualize what we're saying when we say chips. Yeah. Like, where are you and what are you buying? You know, what are you doing when you say chips? If you're at the supermarket, you probably mean crisps. If you're at the fish and chop shop, you probably mean chips. If you're at Macca's, you probably mean shitty ass wet No, you know what? Fries. We just differentiate them between the temperature so when we're at the store, we just say we're buying some chips. If we're at somewhere else, we say hot chips. This is true. Hot <laughs> chips is also a popular euphemism. That's how you distinguish between which one is which. And if they're made out of chicken, we just call them chicken chips. You know, <laughs> there we go. Exactly. Chicken chips are really good. Just, just putting that out there. I they just call them chicken strips. No, chicken chips. Chicken. Like chicken. chicken chippy. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Makes for a great lunch. There's, there's an element of my diabetes that I have not explored yet, and it's chicken chips. Yeah, man. If Wait, you haven't chicken had chicken strips? chips? Be... I don't think I have. No, they're like, no, they're chicken fingers. That's what they're also good. Okay, yeah, never yeah. mind. Chicken, chicken chips. <laughs> they were called so chicken chips. So that checks out. It's just, that's just, I've never heard that before. No. Really? Really? I don't mind it, but I've just never heard that. Dude, you like the like, yeah, they're just in the they're really good and fried chicken. Yeah, and put some yeah, chicken salt. Not, not enough chicken, so put some chicken salt on them too. Ah, uh, yeah, chicken salt. Exactly. Chicken salt is literally the reason why our food tastes better. Like yeah. if you go to America, okay, well this applies to a lot of countries that. for varying reasons. In America. Like, the, all of their food just doesn't have MSG. That's literally it. <laughs> also, everything tastes like garbage because it's just covered in I'm, oil and corn syrup. I'm pretty sure most yeah, of their yeah. food is just we use... dunked in sugar. And made bigger. Yeah. Literally. And bigger. Yeah, Although, one thing I love bigger to remind is people... <laughs> <laughs> like in that's the what UK, she said. This is true. <clears throat> I think it can be argued that the UK has the world's best chocolate because of their climate. Really? It, it, yes, and I'll go into it, but essentially in the UK, it's a lot colder, so they're, they're able to freely just create chocolates without being concerned for certain variables. Mm. In, but America has shot itself in the foot by making of all of its people so fucking weird. Where they literally have to like add things to the chocolate made in America. Where to a UK palate, to a British palate, American chocolate literally tastes like vomit. 
like, like unironically, it literally hatch. contains chemically the same acids that you would find in, you know, acid reflux. <laughs> so Americans literally have the worst chocolate in the world because their people are so fucking weird. <laughs> What? That's not. I mean, that's not. I'm not even making that up. You can search that up yourselves. That Australian chocolate is a bit in the middle. It's in the because middle. since our climate is so hot, we have to add uh, melting preventative agents to our chocolate just so oh. they can actually survive the heat. And even then, they don't survive the heat amazingly. Yeah. Do you guys? But they just don't. They don't melt in the supermarket. <laughs> So our okay. chocolate ends up tasting a lot more drier to the UK. Mm. Like it's, right. it's it's not as bad. It's not nearly as bad as literal vomit, mm. but mm. it's not quite as soulful. It's not quite there. Yeah. Do you, question. But we're doing do you, better than the guys, Americans. Question, real quick. Do you guys put your chocolate in the fridge? I was just, just gonna it? say that. Right. I was gonna ask that right? question too. Yeah. Well, do you guys? Do you guys put your chocolates in the fridge? I am an actually... no. No, no? No. Uh, but, uh, I it's, leave it's it weird. out. Some chocolates, I Very reckon, specific are chocolates better in the fridge. Very specific chocolates should go into the fridge. Mm. Things like Mars bars and all that, where they have like caramel or nougat aspects, That's no, true. they shouldn't go in the fridge. Mm. Because they yeah. just get hard, it doesn't work, they get really <laughs> weird. Sweet. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Right. Um, but I would argue that, I mean, kind of cheating, but like, say, Tim Tams, for example. Mm. I get that's not chocolate. That's a biscuit. It's, yeah. it's, it's a biscuit. So I'm going to retract that. Yeah. But just like the more plain variations of chocolate, where it's literally just bars of chocolate. Or I'd even argue Kit Kats. I'd say most Kit Kats can go comfortably in the fridge and just play yeah, bars yeah, of chocolate. But it's really hard. Hmm. Is it I... though? Not really it's hard. It's not that like... hard. Personally, Wait. I like it being in the fridge because then it doesn't melt in my hands as quickly. Yeah. And also, like, I don't mind that. That element you know like it has a slightly different texture where like as you're biting as you're chewing into it you get to experience it melt Mm. but you get to prolong that experience a little longer you get to savor it so you're on the fridge side huh i'm i'm in both ballparks you're on the fridge side i think i think an even mix between them is good I, I like. I reckon as long as you can differentiate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Tim Tams at least. I know they're technically a biscuit, but you know, I think they should definitely not be in the fridge. They do not taste as good when they come in out of the fridge. But normal chocolates like Twirls or Kit Kats and so forth, they're pretty good in the fridge. I think. I reckon they just work. Mm. But then Easter eggs. Easter eggs should not fridge. go in the fridge. No, should go in the fridge. No, they stay out in like a fruit bowl sort of setting. No, 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 no. You know what's good? You eat you them three them months later and, and regret it. And you put them, then you put them into the fridge. Wait, what was that, Reggie? You crack the egg and then you put them into the fridge. Okay, yeah. If what's it's a that? big, if it's a big one, sure. But if it's the tiny little eggs, then just have them outside. You, you can know? have them out too. Yeah. See, what I do is I just don't get enough chocolate to the point where I have any left over. <laughs> Fair or is that just my way of saying I'm a fat ass and I eat all my chocolate in one day? We will never um, know. It doesn't matter. Easter is basically our Halloween, so, you know, we get a bunch of chocolate. Except the treats. Americans also have Easter. Well, they do, but I bet they don't have an Easter bunny. You can do better than that. <laughs> what? They don't have an Easter. They don't have an Easter <laughs> snake. Oh. Elaborate. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys have heard, but recently this thing has been trending. It's called the Australian Easter snake. 
right. based off the eastern Taipan. Found oh, really? on the east co- coast of Australia. Just to be brief, <laughs> it is the most venomous species of snake on the Oh planet. yes. Oh right. yes. And it's venomous. So venomous. Um I that, sure hope so. <laughs> it enables the Taipan to produce chocolate eggs. The venom rearranges itself around what the Taipan eats, making chocolate. And then it it lays those eggs all around Australia for all the children in the world. <laughs> but you just said Australia, not the world. Well, I no, it is it's Australia okay. is the world. <laughs> The least you could have done is made the theology that the Easter snake wants to eat the Easter bunny. So he goes around chasing the Easter bunny and he's scared shitless, so he's just shitting eggs all over the place. There is no bunny, though. We don't have bunnies in Australia. We have yeah, rabbits. Yeah, we do. They're an invasive species. No, no, no. We don't have bunnies. Bunnies, rabbits, have... same thing. No. They're just called rabbits. That's like differentiating. I mean, that's like Those differentiating between dairy thing. cows and heifers. Well, you know, all in all, if you are not Australian and you're listening to this, you should look up the Australian Eastern Easter Taipan found in Australia. Trust me, it's worth a look and reading into it. But don't 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 blame it on me if you can't find it. This is I had I was told this story by my great great grandfather. Oh. Nineteen. He was born in nineteen. No, he was born in eighteen ninety nine. <laughs> pretty key. No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, Thanks, guys. Have a good night. So right. <laughs> oh, Anyways, <clears throat> um, and so chocolate. I feel like you guys are both leaning because I don't put a lot of chocolate in the fridge. I am a room temperature person, and I will concur. Most chocolates, a lot of chocolates, work like that. Because and I know one that of my friends, factories like Cadbury, came out, but still, yeah. We have had this debate for quite a while now on if chocolate should be in the fridge or not. I say no, he says yes. Um, and we both did a poll. Well, I did a poll a few months ago mm-hmm. on my Instagram. Really? I won, of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was surprised because it was actually quite tied, but I just won by a little bit of course um but chocolate it's just better than temperature because you know once you put it into the fridge it actually just changes flavor anyway but yes yeah i agree so it's not even the authentic the authentic original taste when you put it into the fridge well, apparently we're never going to get the authentic original taste anyways, so... Because apparently you can only get that in the UK. inspired <laughs> Easter egg and Halloween chocolate. I guess we're going to the UK. Let's go, guys. Podcast, Yo. let's go. Yeah. Let's go right now. We missed the okay. camping Didn't... trip, but let's do... <laughs> let's try well, we'll and something overseas out. Okay. Um, trip. We're going on a cruise. And we're taking one of our lucky viewers with us. That's (laughs) terrifying. (laughs) So, so if you want to enter this giveaway, go into the comment section down below and just type out what your favorite chocolate is out of five. And then we'll get back to you. Type in what? What if Brandon's dad wins? Uh, Let's take him to our trip. Exactly. <laughs> he is our lucky viewer. <laughs> yeah. Our luckiest viewer. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Definitely. Completely agree. He's lucky to be to Brandon's see. dad. Anyways. I think we should uh call it there, guys. Hey, yeah, that'd be good. I think you we know? did it. It'd be yeah. nice. That way I don't have to edit uh, 
take my edits won't take as long to render, you know? That'd be good. This is true. Yeah. Uh, if you like some of the art that was lying around on the first three or so episodes of the podcast, you're going to have to really scroll down for those and check out ghosting underscore Jolly on Instagram, Twitter, and not Tumblr. She lost the password for that. There's some cool shit on there. You can send money her way and <coughs> she'll do shit for you. Probably. Make artist, her your slave. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Just abund her overabundance. Encumber Just her with love excessive... Her. Love all her yes. posts and art and make her do art for you too. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And don't forget to follow ghosting underscore Jar Lee at Instagram famous Twitter something. I don't know. What's the... We, what's we the, just did we just, I'm doing it again, though. Okay. Okay. Like, oh, follow, subscribe continue. to us and J-, J-, J Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <sighs> That'll do. And say the... Fuck off now. Yeah. Yeah. There we nice. go. Guys, okay, this is the, like the ending tag. Guys, what's the... You get, didn't talk about the the pig the ding dong picks or i know we're just sort of um oh, yeah. going that's kind of a really big topic it uh, is but essentially like during the coronavirus a lot of governments set up like a, you know the whole dobbing system where you could like dob in a neighbor who was breaking curfew or breaking lockdown and all that oh. but most of those systems were inundated with dick pics and a lot of them ended up being taken down like in the US, in the UK, I'm pretty sure Australia had something similar. Yeah. A couple of servers crashed. We can get more into that later, I think. Next episode. There's the trailer for next episode.